Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Guess what? We are back at Aldi this week. I took a peek at the weekly ad last night and I am very excited about what they may have in the store this week. I saw that they had uh, maybe some new like keto items and some fun home items. There is possibly a storage ottoman that I want to get. So I'm excited to again take you in the store with me. I really like doing these videos because I also like watching them on YouTube. I love going in the stores with people and seeing what they have. So I'm gonna take you inside Aldi with me. We're gonna see what they have this week, what fun finds they have. I do need a few grocery items, so I'll pick those up as well. So let's go in after we get done and we're home. I'll show you what I got. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's. Alright, Aldi has the hookup on strawberries this week. They are $1.49. That's crazy. We're gonna get some. So these are spinach and artichoke stuffed mushrooms for $4.49. They look interesting. I've never seen them here before. So we tried this bread last week and I actually really like it. It's the sprouted seven grain bread. It's very like nutty tasting. So I don't know that kids would necessarily love it, um, but I have been using it for toast with peanut butter and it's really good. So they also have the keto friendly wheat bread here. I don't know, I might get some of this for Adam. Um, yeah, maybe we'll try it. So they do have uh, organic beef jerky now if you're interested in that they have both original and peppered I might pick up some of this just to try um, my kids like taking this as a snack so this is $4.49 and then they have the regular beef jerky the non-organic for $3.29 I'm definitely not gonna get this because we've been trying to eat healthier but I bet you this Hawaiian bread makes bomb French toast I bet it would be so good Okay, so I talked about these cookies last week and I got some of the cashew coconut ones, but I'm gonna grab some of the chocolate ones just to try them. They're $2.99 and they're kind of a healthier cookie. They're very um, clean ingredients, no added sugar. Okay, so this is a buffalo style cauliflower dip. That's interesting. It looks like they have a buffalo and then they also have a roasted chili and pepper jack. Have you guys tried this? Is it good? So this is new. This is the Ollie Uncured Pepperoni. I think I'm gonna get this. My kids really like to snack on pepperoni. It's $3.99. They also have these keto bars. So there's a strawberry nut and a macadamia nut chocolate one. They have five grams of net carbs. They do not look super appetizing, <laughs> to be honest. I've said this before, but Ollie is one of the best places to buy nuts, regardless of what you're looking for. Like I don't need any today, but they have a ton of different varieties for good prices. So they have these storage carts for $40 if you're looking for something like that. All these getting into the planner game. They have a wedding planner and a baby planner. I need none of those, but I did find the storage ottomans. They're $19.99. It looks like they have a few left. So if you're wanting one, get the to Aldi quick. Cause the stuff like that always goes super fast. So this says it's new. It's a microwavable riced cauliflower. For $1.99, you get about half a pound in there. So I saw this here last week and I did not get it. It's the dill pickle popcorn. I mean, I'm still not gonna get it, but I'm curious to see if any of you guys have tried it. My Aldi often has these AHA sparkling waters at a good deal, so look out for those. And then they often too have brand name Starbucks K-Cups if you're looking for those. Okay, so I saw these in the ad, not these. These are red velvet Oreos, no thank you. But these are chickpea snacks, so they have barbecue and sea salt. I don't know, I feel like Adam might like the barbecue ones. Hmm, maybe I'll try, maybe I'll try them for him. Okay, so here's some of the stuff in the ad. They have organic coconut oil, peanut butter seed with flax seed and chia. They also have Parmesan crisps in the everything flavor. And then these protein probiotic cookies. Not sure about those. And then they also have paleo granola. I was looking at this in the ad. And then they have some organic mini cookies as well. Okay, and then they have these peanut butter coconut crisps. 
There's chocolate and regular. Hmm, those have sugar in them. Coconut sugar, actually. Okay, so they have this wild caught shrimp taco mix in the freezer section. That's interesting. I feel like what they're trying to do now is just add protein to like all of the junky carbs and then it's they're trying to pretend like it's healthy. Like they're saying this is whole wheat protein cinnamon French toast sticks, but there's still like a bunch of sugar in here, so I don't know. Here's another thing I saw in the ad was the keto ice cream. They have salted caramel, brownie batter, and butter pecan. Get a bottle curfew, the salt that is stuck in my head. It's me, you. Old speed in my heart is racing, but I'm not sure I wanna place it, cause it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension. Move us into the next dimension, let's just... All right, so here's everything that I got from Aldi. So we'll start down here with the produce. I did share with you guys that they had the strawberries for $1.49 a pound, which is a crazy deal, and they actually look really good. The uh, limit on these was limit four, so I just went ahead and got three. I don't think I would have gotten over four anyway because I just feel like they would go bad before we had time to eat them, but this is something that my kids like to take in their lunch, and then I also cut these up and put them on my yogurt in the morning, so we'll go through them fast enough before they go bad. And then they also had blueberries, and I thought these looked really good too. I like to do usually a mixture of these and the strawberries on my yogurt, so that's why I got both. I also picked up one of the English cucumbers. Uh, I've been cutting these up and we have just been keeping like raw cut up veggies in the fridge. I put them in the kids' lunches and we use them for salads and sides for dinner throughout the week. So this is something new that I saw in the refrigerated section. These are Egg Life Original Egg White Wraps and the only ingredients in them are eggs, uh, egg whites and xanthan gum and salt, I guess. So. I've seen where people make like breakfast burritos out of these, like low carb breakfast burritos. So I thought they would be fun to try. Um, I've tried the egg, the, I can forget what they're called, like the Carpini egg wraps before. These seem like they're different than those, like they're fluffier a little bit. So I don't know. Let me know if you've tried this brand before. I've personally never seen this brand around here. So I thought it would be fun to try those. And then um, I saw someone, actually my friend Katie on my, fa on my Facebook the other day, I saw that she got this cilantro lime seasoned chicken from Aldi and she made like burrito bowls out of it, like kind of like Chipotle copycat. So I figured I would try it out. I've never purchased this before. Um, this package, it looks like it's 1.3 pounds and I got it for 5.23. So it's a little bit more expensive than just plain chicken breast, but there's quite a bit in there. So um, I might cook that up and do like I said, some Chipotle copycat. I'm sorry, people get mad when I say Chipotle wrong. Is it Chip Chipotle, right? Not Chip Chip Chipotle. 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 Um, okay, and then I also got a chef salad. Uh, these little salad kits. They have several different varieties there. They have like chef salad. Uh, they have like some type of like Fiesta chicken one with like a salsa ranch. And then they also had a Caesar salad, but sometimes I get these for Adam and he has them for lunches during the week. I also grabbed some cilantro. This is something that I always like to keep in the refrigerator just because I use it for so many different things. So um, I needed more of that. And then I also got some tomatoes on the vine. I've been wanting to make some tabbouleh and I wish that uh, high, not heavy. Aldi would have had parsley, but my Aldi never has parsley because I need that for tabbouleh. But anyway, I'll have to go stop at Hy-Vee and get that because normally I like to use like the flat Italian parsley. I did pick up three cans of the um, organic pinto beans. So the other night we actually had tacos and I made homemade refried beans using like a tablespoon of um, bacon grease that I had in the refrigerator. And then I mashed up some of the pinto beans and seasoned them and they were really, really good. So I used up the last of my two cans of pinto beans when I did that. And so I wanted a replacement. I use these for chili and other things too. So I needed to have those on hand. And then I showed you guys this in the store. This is the Ollie Uncured Pepperoni. Um, I've actually got this brand before from Imperfect Foods. They've had like specials on their site where they have these little like 
salami and cracker trays. So um, I thought this would be interesting to try. It was, I believe, $3.99. Um, and then I showed you guys the keto bread also. They had two different flavors, but I just got the keto friendly wheat bread. I cannot remember if we've tried this before, Aldi before. For one slice, it has nine carbs, but it also has nine fiber. So if you're counting net carbs, it would have zero net carbs. And I do think that you're supposed to store this in the refrigerator, otherwise it can get moldy pretty quickly. Okay, I did also get some instant mashed potatoes and I have a reason for this. So my sister forwarded me a recipe a while back for homemade chicken nuggets and it actually calls for a little bit of potato flakes as a binder in the chicken mixture and I want to try that recipe and normally I keep a box of these on hand. Um, normally I would use them to like thicken potato soup or even like in a pinch make instant mashed potatoes but I didn't have any in the pantry. These were super cheap so I just grabbed a box of the plain ones and then I did also get a couple bags of the cheese cubes. Um, these are a really great deal at Aldi. They're $1.69 for an eight ounce package, which is the same as the regular blocks of cheese. So why not get those and have them cut them up for you? I got some of the white cheddar puffs. It's been a while since I've bought these and I've been trying not to buy like regular, you know, chips and stuff like that. So I did get these to put in the kids' lunches. I also got these. I assume these are like the pop chips, except it's the Aldi brand. So it says sea salt popcorn chips. Um, they look exactly like pop chips. So let me know if you guys have tried these. I think these are new at Aldi. I can't remember exactly, but I do think that they were in this week's ad. And then we're going to have breakfast for dinner tonight and we don't have any bacon. So I did get some of this no sugar added uh, hickory smoked uncured bacon. These are 12 ounce packages, not 16 ounces. So I went ahead and grabbed two. Um, we probably won't eat all that for supper, but if I do have leftover bacon, I just put it in the fridge and then we can heat, you know, eat it on a sandwich or a salad or something else um, later on. I did also get the organic peppered beef jerky and the original beef jerky. So I want to say this had a new sign by it too, um, but that's always a snack that we can keep on hand. That is high protein, low carb. The kids will also eat, eat this sometimes in their lunches or I'll send it in their backpack as like a non-perishable perishable, perishable, perishable snack for them to have during the day. Uh, these are the peanut butter coconut crisps. We did open them and try them just so I could tell you guys how they taste and they're pretty good. They do taste like coconut, but they also taste like very strong like peanut butter. So definitely not a nutter butter, uh, but if you're looking for like a healthier type cookie deal, I think this is really good. I would recommend those. Uh, these on the other hand are the chocolate coconut cashew crisps. I did try one of these also. I don't like these quite as well. I bought the vanilla ones last week and I think those were a lot better. These have more sugar in them and I don't think they're as good. So personally, I probably wouldn't purchase these again, but the vanilla ones are really good. I would recommend those. And then also I was telling you guys about the chickpea snacks. So these are the barbecue flavor. Um, I tried one of these also. I feel like I wanted it to taste a lot like a corn nut, but it didn't quite taste like a corn nut. Like it, it, it's crunchy, but it, it doesn't have that like junk food taste. You know, it's obviously just like a, a dried chickpea, um, but it's good. Definitely if you're looking for kind of a healthier crunchy snack, would recommend those. And then this I was really surprised by. So this is the paleo granola. They had a couple different flavors, but I got the mixed berry. Um, what's in here is coconut almonds, honey, sunflower seeds, cranberries, blueberries, and chia seeds. I definitely really like this. I always like to put a little bit of granola on top of my yogurt. And this is something that I feel like is maybe a little bit healthier than the traditional grain, you know, granola, and it doesn't have as much added sugar. So I would definitely buy this again. If you're looking for something like this, I would definitely recommend it. And then we didn't try these yet, but these are like the RX bar dupe. They're the peanut butter chocolate max bars. So, um, they do have 12 grams of protein in each one. And then I did get some of the smaller bottled water. This is what I send in the kids' um, lunches instead of a juice box. I've been doing that for the last couple weeks. So these are perfect. They are the perfect size and they're not too large. All right, got a 12 pack of Diet Sodi. Got some Diet Coke. <gasps> oh, I forgot I have Sodi. <laughs> yes. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, the Diet Coke. Now, Diet Coke is great because when you drink it, after you eat something with sugar in it, like an apple, it balances, they balance out. There's nothing wrong with the soda every once in a while. And then I also got a couple of these Jimmy Dean breakfast scramblers, I guess. If you're looking for like a low carb breakfast, uh, this is a good option. They, I think they're on like, on like a special buy at Aldi right now, but these actually come with the egg in them instead of like having to add the egg. So um, I went ahead and grabbed two more of those. And then I showed you guys the keto ice cream. So they had a couple different flavors of this. I got the brownie batter. Um, I wasn't quite sure about the other flavors, so I thought we would try that. And then they also had these keto friendly roasted veggie deli pizzas. So I thought we might try that for lunch tomorrow. I would probably add some meat to it, like maybe some of that pepperoni, uh, but I thought it would be good to try. You guys can see what the crust looks like. And uh, if you want the nutrition facts, because I know some people are interested in that, um, it does, for a third of, a third of the pizza, it looks like it has seven net carbs. So that's not bad, it's pretty low compared to some of the other prepackaged low carb pizzas. And then for our breakfast for dinner tonight, I did get one bag of frozen hash browns. I thought I had some of the dried um, hash browns in the pantry, but I'm out of those. And then I uh, got some more of like the sparkling ice drinks to replenish um, Adam's stash. So these are pretty cheap. I want to say they're 49 cents. They're either 39 or 49 cents at Aldi, which is cheaper than you can get them at Walmart, even like the off brand. So I got a mix of orange. Oh, they have cherry limeade. That's interesting. I think I only got two of those. Um, and then pink grapefruit and then the black raspberry. And then these were in the refrigerated section. So I thought, I feel like I've tried these before, but I thought we would try them again. So these are like the zero sugar flavored water beverages. So I got a lemonade, strawberry lemonade, mango tropical and cranberry. That one's good. I've had it before. Um, and then for non-food items, I did get some more of the Downy Unstoppables. This, it's probably not the best place to buy these at Aldi as far as cost. I think they, you can find them cheaper elsewhere, but I needed them and I was at Aldi, so I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I believe they were either $5.99 or $6.99. And then I grabbed another toothbrush for Kira. These were on sale for $2.99. And then I bought these last week, but I decided to buy another box because who knows how long we're going to be in this panini wearing face masks. But uh, these are the black disposable face masks. And I talked about them last time about Kira wanting some like this because she's, you know, concerned about fashion. So uh, I got those so she can wear them to school. She prefers the disposable ones to the fabric ones. And then I also got some baby wipes. I use these in my craft room. Uh, and then I also use them for like my wet erase markers. Uh, I didn't, I, I kind of wanted to just buy a single pack, but they didn't have that. So I went ahead and bought the uh, three pack. They were pretty inexpensive at Aldi. And then here's the storage ottoman that I got. So this was $19.99, which I thought was a really good price. Um, it seems very sturdy, super easy to put together. All I had to do was unfold it and then put the sort of like cardboard insert in the bottom. So yeah, if you are looking for something like this, uh, definitely get to Aldi quick because they do usually sell out of this stuff soon and they had this color which is kind of like a tan color fabric and then they also had a black one that was more of like a faux leather looking one. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Aldi shop with me and haul. I will see you in my next video, which is tomorrow, which should be a weekend prep video. So I'll see you then. Bye. We make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now, never let this end.